Well, I got to tell you, Matt just climbed out of the cage with Stephen Ocho Peterson. And this right here was a rematch. It really wasn't a rematch because the first bout never really, really materialized in any which way which I can call a bout. Let's go ahead and talk real quickly about the first bout. It was, you guys got in there, started exchanging punches, all of a sudden this left arm got, gets locked in. that left arm and it just landed real weird. It landed like on his shoulder like this and he came over the top with a hook and my arm just went pop and this came out over on top. And that was like in the first round, that was like four minutes into the first round. So, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was kind of unfortunate because it was barely a fight. I gotta tell you, I was there and I saw the replays and it was a weird looking elbow when it was shown in slow motion. But let's go and talk about the actual fight now. This right here is what I call the real match. And it was, I'm gonna say again, it was a war. Let's go ahead and talk real quick. I show you right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right here. I got a whole bar first round, whole bar second round. Okay? Right. Now, I gotta be honest with you, Steven sunk in a pretty deep, look like triangle yep. on you in the second round. Yep, but tell me how it felt. Um, you know, it felt pretty tight. I, you know, I got in, I, I was going for the go, going for his leg, trying to get, a, you know, the takedown. And he jumped to do that flying triangle and, uh, but we were we were working on my whole camp, uh, on my top game jiu-jitsu, and we were working specifically for that, uh, um, you know, for that uh, defense. Because he sunk that triangle in, I knew I had to keep my uh, hips in yes. and keep my posture up to keep him from sinking that in. That's so right. I fought out of it. But I'm going to tell you, five fans, it wasn't short thereafter. Matt shoots a right, wicked, wicked right hand. I heard you've been training with Polly Ayala. Oh, yes. I've been training with Polly, and we've been working on that lead hook a lot. And, you know, I just landed it, and, and he fell. And I thought I had him right there, but you know, he's a tough guy and he came back. So. Well, I tell you what, it was rubber legs all over the place. We're not going to talk about his eyes rolling back, even though you saw it. Okay, because I already heard him say, but the eyes came back in. Right. I got to tell you right here, Steven is a warrior. Oh, yes. And he, he is. And he, he fought off that and he was able to survive. And now, in the third round, I mean, he's starting to shoot a lot. Of, you oh, know, yeah. he knows you're a wrestler. That's he right. was shooting a lot of knees. Yeah, he was. He caught you. He caught you several he, times. He did. He caught me in the body a lot with his knees. And, you know, I started to get tired there. But, you know, I would just let him do his uh, his thing because as soon as he did that little onslaught, he got tired. And, you know, I could, exactly. just, I could just come back and, you know, uh, finish out strong. I'm gonna tell you, five fans right here. Matt came out, everybody thinking he was gonna be going to the ground. This man brought a different game. And I guess that was a strategy. That was a strategy. Keep it off the ground and keep it on the feet. And he did kind of shy away from this left arm from the standpoint that, I mean, heck, anybody would do that. Two months ago, you were with a dislocated right. elbow. Exactly, so I wanted to keep my lead hand active, you know, throw those uppercuts, throw those hooks, or the jab, and beautiful. just use this to set it up. It looked beautiful. The final cards read 29, 27, 29, 27, and 20, 28, 28 with a majority draw. Before I actually close this one up, Steven was deducted for kicking you while you were down in the face, in the head, if you That's want right. to call that. That's right, he did that twice. He, he did it twice, that that's right. And yes. the second time went ahead and and, and, and made it made a uh, you made him pay for it right on right. the scorecard yeah. okay i'm gonna let you go ahead and give the final minute shout outs here okay i want to thank my sponsors i want to thank punishment athletics uh they sponsored me for this fight i'd like to thank on it nutrition core power i'd like to thank uh d1 fit uh, the people who are behind him the people who are behind him <laughs> and uh southpaws Okay, we got it, baby. We got them all. Right, I tell you what, much. ladies and gentlemen, you stay, you keep your eyes on this Oklahoma. I don't know what he's a wrestler. I don't know what he is. He's Texas caged. Wrestling. I tell you what, baby, he's been unleashed. He's uncaged. Keep your eyes on him, and you keep your eyes on UFFL, Matt Hobart, the Crowbar.